We are now yeah. live on YouTube, I think. <laughs> we should be. Should nice. be live on YouTube. Okay. Maybe or talking. maybe not. We'll we'll you know we'll <laughs> we'll try it out. Hello everyone. Hi Hello. Melissa. Hi Kathleen. Aida. Warda. Lovely Hello. to see you people. Hilary. Kate. Oh, I need to expand. I love expanding. That means a lot of people are here. Lovely to see everyone. Um, it says we've got about 10 people. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So for today's event, it's going to be much lighter than our usual events. Not that we have, you know, boring events every Wednesday, <laughs> but this is just going to be a bit more fun, a bit more interactive. Um, we've got Hilary here, who's a designer, web Webflow developer, podcast host, like so many things, Emily, maybe you can introduce mm -hmm. yourself and tell us a bit more about what you do. And she's prepared this amazing quiz on Kahoot. I don't know if you've ever played Kahoot before, but mm -hmm. I recommend having your phone ready. Um, Emily will give you all the instructions to play. Um, so that will be an opportunity for us to be learning a bit more about design and Webflow by answering some questions and just playing a quiz. So I thought that was super clever, super exciting and fun. To, to experiment. So Emily, over to yeah. you. Hi. Yeah, so I, uh, I'm i a UX designer. I also love Webflow. And uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really fun. Um, I have a podcast, which is cool. It's the Great Design Lead podcast. And that's how I make a lot of my friends in the no code world. Um, and so I remember uh, Claudia and I were talking a bit before she was like, hey, um, should you do one of these Wednesday things? And I'm like, I don't know what I would talk about. <laughs> I was so nervous about it. And then I was like, well, doing the podcast and meeting all these people, I have like a collection of all these resources that I found that at least have helped me. So I wanted to share them, but I didn't want to do it in like a boring way where like you're hearing all this information that you already know. So I'm like, what if half the people already know everything and half the people, this is new information. I'm like, what if I just do a quiz and then if people know the information, they're excited and they got the point right. And if they don't, they learn something new and they can write it down or something like that. So yeah, that's that was the thought process behind today. <laughs> that's amazing. I just realized that I haven't got paper and pen, which is usually my <laughs> comfort zone. So I just play on my phone and <laughs> anything I don't know is a great opportunity to just broadcast my ignorance to everyone. <laughs> Yeah, and, and it'll be really fun. So uh, I'll start with like how to start. So it seems like we're, we're good. Um, so what I'm going to do is first get your, your phone out or an iPad or any other kind of device that has access to the internet. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Mm -hmm. Hi, Penny. Hi, um, oh, Lizzie hi, that just joined us. Hi. We're about to do a Kahoot game. And so, what, yeah, what we're going to do, you're just going to, get like your phone or something like that. And can you see my screen? Yeah. Is everything good? Okay, cool. So I'm going to start. And you're gonna hear some background music. If it gets annoying, let me know. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, we're good. For a second, I was like, what? <laughs> Always happens. Alrighty. So you're going to go to www.kahoot.it and then you're going to get to this um, and put in the pin or you could uh, scan scan the code right here. So just 693-3985. Yeah. And then it's going to ask you to put in a, um, a nickname and then your nickname should pop up on the screen. So we're going to take a couple minutes to do that. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> I'm so nervous that this wasn't <laughs> Awesome. I uh, love this. This is so fun already. Like, I don't even care about the quiz. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, and if you haven't gotten in yet, let me know. I'll just give you a couple minutes in case your phone is giving you problems. Penny, Lizzie, Hillary, Oliva, Aida, have I always called you with the wrong name? Because I always call you Aida. Is it Oliva instead? <laughs> um, 
what am I? I'm here. No, Ida is my my name. All right, it's cool. Just my surname, Oliva. Yes. <laughs> I, have I called you your wrong name for this whole time? Right. No, 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 Oliva. <laughs> That's just my surname. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, nice here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and I guess you'll be the twelfth. Me? Yeah. Yeah. That's... Yeah. I, I I would be a little unfair since I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, everyone's here. Got it. All right, so we can put start. Oh, maybe. Oh, did we miss somebody? Somebody just joined. You and oh, I just you, joined. Okay, if you did just join, there should be instructions on how to join. Yeah, the game pin is always right here. All right. In the bottom right. So you go to, yeah, so this is just the practice round. Okay. This should be the easiest one. <laughs> if it's you don't know this go. one, you can exit this conversation right now. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go full screen. <laughs> Good. Woo. Yay. You know, I'm a bit like, worried about the four people that haven't answered these questions. <laughs> I, I wasn't, I was, I wasn't sure what I was supposed to answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it gives you 20 seconds uh, to answer, well, or it just, it just stops with everybody. Yeah? I wasn't sure what the question was. <laughs> oh, yes. <yeah, sorry. laughs> uh, it'll, yeah, this was just the practice round. It was, uh, what is this? So I'll, I'll be more clear with the next question. So I think when you get a question, then on your phone, you have different colors, yes. which um, match yeah. the answer on your screen. So, for yes. example, Floxy's was the red one, yep. which on your phone would have been the red box. Yeah. And if anybody's just gotten here, uh, go to www.kahoot.it and then put this game pin in, and then you'll be joined into the game. Yeah, I think right. we've got Yonara that joined us. Gotcha. And Kathleen, no, yeah, Kathleen's here as well. Gotcha. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hello. Hi. So, if girls, if you go to Kahoot um, on, your on your phone and then just put in oh, the pin. Okay. Yeah, just put in the pin. To it turns your phone into a remote to yeah. answer the questions. Gotcha. Alrighty. Well, this is fun. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we use Kahoot at school. Yeah, I love it. I learned it in uh, um, high school in French class. <laughs> <laughs> Transferable skills. Yeah. So uh, we... I have a question. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, do we have to to access it from our phone or? Uh, nice. you, yeah, you can use your browser if you want, and you can just okay. uh, do half screens if you if you want. Yes, okay, we'll do that. Because yeah. basically, yeah. the question will be shared here on Gather, and then you need to answer on Kahoot. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, let but, me know when, when you're ready to go. And also, like, girls, this is just, you know, for fun. Don't, don't freak out if it's too quick, <laughs> or if you don't get to answer, like, there's no judgment whatsoever. It's just... For a good no chill. <laughs> no such thing. It's always stressful. No. I could read it. I could read it in your eyes, Penny. I was like, just like just just try have fun. Yeah. No if there's time, if there's a timer, it's stressful. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> it could be like three hours long. Still. <laughs> yeah, for example, I am at this in the seventh place in this practice round. <laughs> I'm an 11th. <laughs> there were only 11 people. I'm, I'm 160 points behind Lizzie. <laughs> How do you know? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So are we all in? Are we ready to go to the next question? Just shout what? out if you're not. If you want uh, me to wait. Let's see. Kathleen, are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Yep. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Creative B. Creative B is here as well. I don't know if you're in, but I think we can try and go to the next question. All righty. Scoreboard. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> 
All right. And and yeah, your remote has the, the shapes and the colors and they match up with the answers. So this should also be this. Yeah. So I broke them up into categories. So this one is people. And hopefully this is fun. <laughs> so here's the first one. Who is this guy in the middle? <laughs> Who is the guy on the right? He's nice. <laughs> <laughs> He's the CTO. Oh, hello, CTO. Right. <laughs> if you're watching, team. if you're watching, <laughs> hi. <laughs> All right. Hey, Vlad, we like you a lot. As well. <laughs> Right, another person coming up. Who is this? Mm. <laughs> so these are all Webflow questions so far for the people. If you're new to Webflow, don't worry. You're going to learn some key characters in the company. This is this is all about learning new people, and if you find someone that's interesting, just take note and try to uh, learn who they are because it might be fun. So yeah, some Wire, of for example, we could say like yeah. he's uh, you can see him in Webflow University. Lots of their videos, he's often there explaining, and you know I don't know if he's in charge of the actual Webflow University. I think he might be. Yeah, I think he's. I think he's, I think he's yeah, head of education. Mm. Yeah, alrighty. And a lot of these are also UX only stuff, not just Webflow stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to mix it up. <laughs> Penny is getting better and better. <laughs> Who is this? Mm. <laughs> He might or he might not be here next week. Ooh, Ooh <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so maybe okay. Emily, do you want to say like a little bit of like who these people are? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh Nelson um is awesome. He is right now the uh uh chief evangelist of webflow and before that he was like one of webflow's biggest fans and he had this youtube channel called pixel geek which ex still exists and all of his videos are still there he would uh live stream a lot of the stuff that he was building do all these like tutorial videos he had a community uh, a little bit like what claudia does he he has uh uh like this pixel geek community which is really cool um yeah so he's he's a great follow if you want to take his name down if uh, if you don't know him he's he's awesome Hillary, good. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got in first position, Maria, powering <laughs> through. Oh, I had fun with this one. Oh. Shoot. I'm really, really slow. <laughs> Yeah, Joseph Berry. So this guy is uh, one of like the best animation guys in Webflow. Um, he has a course online that's like pretty affordable. It goes between like twenty five bucks to hundred bucks, depending on the uh, the time of the year, I guess. And uh, he has this uh, class on Awards.com on how to create all of these animations. And yeah, all of his stuff is really good. And if you ever look at his portfolio, it's like amazing. So if you're ever interested in like the animation part of Webflow, like, he's a great resource to have. Awesome. Yeah. Liz is fighting. Liz, Liz is fighting hard. <laughs> this one's popular in the... Um, the Webflow ads, like the YouTube ads. 
Yeah, I would love for her to come here. Mm -hmm. Boxes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Sarah is really cool. I, uh, I, she's always referred to by her first name, so I just put her first name here. <laughs> um, but yeah, she she's really cool. Like she's in all all of the videos with um, uh, McGuire and everybody. So uh, she's probably a familiar face if you already did the Webflow University, or if you're about to start, you will see her often. <laughs> yeah, she's part of the education team as well. Yeah. Whoa, Maria's on fire. I'm getting competitive. <laughs> yeah, it's until the UX. Until the UX. I'm workflow like in my comfort zone. <laughs> Maria has really fast thumbs. <laughs> fast fingers. <Yeah. laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, shoot. Ah, damn it. Uh, <laughs> Excuse my friend. Sorry. <laughs> Boom. I had fun with the names here. Yeah, tell. it's not the much. It's the color. Oh. Because <laughs> oh. before he was always that color. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So, uh, uh, if you if you got it right, <laughs> even if you had it right in your head, uh, this is uh, Greamer. Um, he is like the third of the Webflow uh, um, education trinity, <laughs> I guess you could call it that. Um, he's he's also really great, and so many of uh, the courses that I've taken have been taught by him, just like the Webflow University ones. Um, so again, a familiar face uh, you will experience or have already experienced. Yeah, he's a great, great guy. He was my session manager at the No Code Conf. Um, he was really impressed with Floxies and yeah, it's mm -hmm. nice to have his support. Yeah. I feel really old because when I started learning Webflow, only McGuire was doing the university oh, yeah. videos. <laughs> same, same. That wasn't that long ago, don't worry. It was, yeah, it was a year and a half ago. Yes. Yeah. Six was... months in tech, it's like 50 years. Uh, <laughs> Normal true. life. Lizzie. Lizzie has stolen the crown. Well, not <laughs> nope. stolen the flame. No, not quite. Just the flame. <laughs> but she's what does the flame that? mean? How is the fire? I think it means you have seven correct answers in a row, or like you have the most correct consecutive answers in a row, which is like good job. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> <laughs> it's on. It's on. It is on. I know it all really comes out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. We thought everybody was sweet. <laughs> <And always. Gotcha. laughs> All right, so now we're in the YouTube channels one. Oh, what is that? <laughs> I've never seen that yeah. before. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I took their names out. Not really. <laughs> it's, just, yeah, it's kind of all over. Right it. there. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta look through the fine print, I guess. My phone went on standby. It's not fair. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, this is Thin Suite, if you haven't heard of them. Um, they are a development only Webflow agency, and they also have so many uh, great resources online. So I highly recommend uh, subscribing to them. Also, usually on like midday uh, uh, Eastern time, like noon Eastern time they have these uh, live streams where they sometimes just talk about like life or something like that, or they talk about business or other things other than development itself. So yeah, you can find anything from them. Yeah, uh, they is it mostly on Thursday? Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday, yeah. Also on this Monday, there is a show and tell in Gather. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. And Maria will be presenting. So let's all go <laughs> yes. and support. Yeah, Emily. Yeah. I, Emily, I loved your your interview with Joe. Oh, thank because you. I get the feeling that Joe doesn't. I mean, we we kind of we probably know more about him now personally after that interview that that you know he's he's opened up a little bit more. But I kind of get the sense that he didn't necessarily talk about all that stuff that much. He was very business focused, so it was great to get that peek behind the curtain. Oh, thanks. Yeah, yeah. he's he's yeah. nice. He's um. 
uh, he even like responds to my email sometimes. I'm like, you have time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Sure. in> <laughs> and he's you. got this amazing skill of just like, I had the pleasure to be interviewed by her as well. And it's like, you just sit there for two hours and you just talk about, about and you know, anything. She's just got this natural, you know, skill that just leads you to talk about your most private things. <laughs> it's, awesome. it's not, it's not, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, I spend hours and hours researching people before they come on. Uh, so it seems like, like it's like an, a, a natural thing, but it, yeah. It is <laughs> though, because you make us feel comfortable, yeah. you know, it, it's nice. Yeah. Thank I you. never sat talking with anyone for two hours. Like after thirty minutes, like okay, I need water. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next YouTube channel. This is more of a UX thing, so this might be a tricky one. Oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You tricked me, you tricked me. <laughs> it took me a second, also. Yeah, uh, so this is Daniel oh, Scott. Uh, bring no. Yeah, this was a tricky one. Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> I feel cheated. <laughs> I've seen this, I've seen him once. Because I don't use Adobe. So. I've done his Adobe as Illustrator class on Skillshare. Oh, really? Yeah, it was amazing. He is so cool. Yeah, this is, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, this is uh, Daniel Walter Scott, uh, Bring Your Own Laptop, um, which is his brand. And he has all of these great courses. Um, and this is actually how I got into UX design even before I knew about Webflow. Um, uh, I took his Adobe XD course, which I, I've heard that a lot of people have taken. Which We is all awesome. did, didn't we? Yeah, me too. That was my first as well. Yeah. yeah. So if anybody is like, started out the other way they're, they're like learning about webflow and they're like well what is design like what is all of this stuff like how do i make a wireframe all this kind of stuff he actually has that course on youtube for free so daniel walter scott mm -hmm. look up subscribe uh he's awesome so yeah I think, I think he had one on how to create a logo or something that i watched that it was like wow that was really cool mm. yeah uh, but i have a question what's yeah. the what's the what's the answer in blue there because that was what i picked oh. i thought it Bring your, desk, bring your own desktop. Yeah. Yes. Oh, silly me. <laughs> she got so me I was too. close. Yeah, she got, close. Me. she got me. She got me there. We've been tricked. Lizzie, not so hot anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but Yunara <laughs> is coming up. <laughs> All right, next YouTube channel. This is also a UX one. This might be tough. Ah, never yeah, seen this is probably one of the toughest ones. Not even. <laughs> I'm gonna be very random here. Say so, like twenty five. One in four chances of winning. <laughs> <laughs> if I pick with my eyes closed, I guess it's the same. Ah, look, look. Many know? people got it wrong. I know her. I love her. She's Chanban, Chanbans, right? Yes, yes. I she, love her. Oh. I love her so much. She's my favorite. <laughs> Kathleen, invite her to Floxies. Oh my God, wait, I don't know her, know her, but I love her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but she's in the Bay. I mean, I don't know, we'll see. I could probably reach out to her. <laughs> oh gosh, that would be me. Like, I, so like my first introduction to UX design or like product design at all, was her videos and I would watch them on my um my bike like my uh um yes. uh, stationary bike um, I I would have my iPad right there and I would watch all of her videos yeah I love her personality and she she mm -hmm. used to work at Tatcha before like she got into UX she got really like stressed out from Tatcha like the whole like startup world there so she moved into UX I think that's why wow yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah so so like again if you're like joining from like web design you want to learn more about like product design or just what a ux designer does she's like amazing and she also used to work at um instacart too she recently uh moved out and yeah. is doing her own thing but yeah, yeah. Uh, and she has um she has workshops too i think on super peer I, I don't i don't i forgot the name of it but yeah, yeah. 
she has a lot. Yeah. MK, I think. Gotcha. All right. Am I? What's going on in the chat? Oh, no worries. <laughs> We're just giving instructions to William. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> Six, nine, three, three, nine, eight, five. Yeah. Can I give him a second just to join? Sure. Okay. Hi, everybody joining. Uh, you go to www.kahoot.it uh, on your phone, and then you put in this game, and then uh, you get a remote, and you can uh, vote um, for what the answers are, and you can play the game with us. So I'm going <laughs> to give you like a, a couple seconds just to join. But yeah, that's those are the instructions. You use a phone or an iPad or half this your desktop screen and another browser. Yeah. I think she's me. in. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. All right. Cool. Awesome. Woohoo! Yes, I'm right. guessing the last On the two. scoreboard. On the leaderboard. <laughs> I, I called it. We go UX. I'm losing. <laughs> <laughs> so, who do you think this person is? Oh. I took my time to read all the names. <laughs> I mean, oh I had so much fun making up fake names. <laughs> Tom Rocks is a solid <laughs> choice. Alrighty. So Timothy Ricks. <laughs> uh, he is he is a uh, for anybody that doesn't know he is a uh, developer. Um, from uh, 368, he lives in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and he has all of these really, really great videos on like all of these experiences and mini sites and super advanced stuff, but he does it in a way that uh, you can understand it and everything. And he has like a Instagram or a Patreon and everything like that. So if you wanted to find him, you can look up uh, Timothy Rex on YouTube and subscribe and he's a great, great follow. Um, yeah. I great. love him too, Emily. I, I, I I want to share too, like his BEM class naming convention video is really helpful. If you guys really? Want. Yeah, for Webflow. So it's, it's amazing. If you guys need any help like naming conventions or anything. So. Yeah, perfect. We'll search that video within his channel. Yeah, I'll send it here too. Cool, cool. Perfect. Ooh, how oh, the tables turn. <laughs> Right. This girl's also a uh, podcaster and a YouTuber. This is just proof that I spend oh. too much time on YouTube. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I realized this week, but I, I got it wrong. Damn it. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It was uh, the last name that I, I never heard before and like threw me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. so Charlie talks a little bit like Daniel Walter Scott. They've got the same accent. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, is a UK accent. <laughs> she's a uh, uh, MZ. Australian. New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, yeah. but Daniel isn't. <laughs> is he? She's half she says- British and half Kiwi. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and she's living in Spain, right? Yeah, so she's a a um, uh, product designer, UX person. She has all of these really, really cool videos. She has so much to learn about Figma. She also has a, uh, a podcast, and um, she has a podcast with uh, Femke uh, Van... Uh, she's, she's a podcast <laughs> with Femke. <laughs> I'm not going yes. to and life, a screen I think. printer. That's how I found her <laughs> in my screen printing days. True. And then I went to the and it found her there also. And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I'm fangirling off, 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 off Charlie. I love her. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> and if you want to find her uh, YouTube channel, uh, I have it blocked out, but it's um Charlie Marie TV, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. And she has a podcast too with uh what's her name? The other uh the other Femke. Girl? Oh, yes. Femke. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. love it. It's uh, Design Life. I always used to listen to it at the gym, like in my ear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Training the body and mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Maria's Maria's dropping. Oh Mirella, Mirella's on top. Uh-huh. 
Oh, this is more of a Webflow uh, integrations thing. I got what that one. What is this? <laughs> if you're a fan of integrations, you probably would know this. If you ever want to learn about integrations, pay attention to the answer and write it down. Yeah, I am writing yeah. it down. Now that I lost my podium spot, I can ah. relax and make a lot of mistakes. Ooh, I got it right, but it was completely out of luck. So this is uh, Aaron Kornblit. Kornblit? Is that how you say it? Yeah, and, that's right. Yep. Yeah. And this is uh, automate all the things. So uh, there's obviously there's Webflow, but there's so much more you can do with all of these integrations. Like um, you have all of them right here. I'm not going to name them because there are questions later on. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, they're 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 really cool. Like you can learn um, uh, how to make membership sites. You can automate your tasks. You can uh, like if somebody signs up for your site, you don't have to manually approve them or you don't have to manually send them all these emails all these things can be done automatically and it kind of uh, makes it easier for you to make these super professional membership sites where people can go through the process with you being like asleep or something like that so uh automate all the things is the youtube channel and aaron is the guy to watch he's great is he the founder of airtable uh, I believe he works at Airtable. Oh, he works yeah. there. Yeah. 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 He works for the education team at Airtable. Right. Yeah. So, of course, I messaged him as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, he's like, um, uh, uh, he's a little bit like their Maguire, <laughs> I guess. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Ooh. Oh. oh, my God. I can't believe that. Whoever, whoever Munchie is, Ooh. they're on fire. Yeah. I think we're coming to the end of the YouTube channels. Oh, yeah. Who's this guy? Does he look familiar at all? Mm. I hope you enjoy my fake names. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Thompson sounds nice. <laughs> yes. So this is Connor and Mason. Uh, is it, I know uh, Penny. He was you and him had a conversation a while, uh, like uh, last week, right? Yeah, on Friday he was our first guest on No Code North because yeah. he is now Canadian, even though he doesn't sound like it. <laughs> but he has the same jacket on here that he had in your your interview. <laughs> and you know, I I had I I'm sure I had seen those pictures, but I was not expecting the red plaid shirt. I really really <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> Just about fell over when we saw it. It was like, oh my god! <laughs> I thought you agreed it with the guests as well. Oh, that's so great! No, and they forgot no. to tell me. <laughs> yes. Which, so, by the uh, way, by the way, Penny, congratulations on your first live. That was awesome. Yeah. Oh, thanks, thanks. Well, Connor made it. Connor made it really easy to you know because he's just got so much facility with you know conversations like that and talking about what he does and. Yeah. 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 It so uh as Penny was saying, uh Connor is another great person to follow on YouTube. Um, he does a lot of the same things that uh Aaron does, but just like in a different way. And like it's the education of it is so easy to follow. And literally any any problem that I had building my membership site, um, I Googled it and he was the first thing that popped up. I didn't add mm -hmm. his name or anything like that. I just wrote down my problem and then it's the first thing that popped up on Google was him talking through exactly what I needed to know. So Connor Finlayson is 100% a great guy and a great person to follow and he's also a friend uh, and he's he's wonderful. So if you're ever interested in integrations or if you're intimidated by it and you want to see, hey, like, how do you do this? Is this really that scary? How much custom code is it? Great person to watch YouTube videos on. Mm -hmm. Great integrations. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna share with him my fake names for him. I <laughs> you'll enjoy those. <laughs> Mono Tullivan. <laughs> Mirella's going strong. Um. 
Yeah, I took out the face because I thought that would be too easy. <laughs> Good job, guys. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, Rand Seagal, uh, Flux Academy. I, I, I look at like the amount of subscribers in the mm -hmm. that's crazy and um yeah wonderful wonderful person to follow um uh flux academy is like i mean i'm sure everybody uh has maybe seen one of his ads or, or seen a youtube video not even knowing that it was him um but yeah a like, uh, great person to learn about webflow and actually when i was doing my first project ever um, and I was trying to figure out like, what could I do outside of WordPress or anything like that? His video popped up. It was like the 16 minutes um, to build a site in Webflow. And I just thought it was so cool. And I just like never touched WordPress ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Very wise. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, I have to say that after Webflow University is like the first thing that comes up, like Flux Academy, I don't know, mm -hmm. in my path at least, it was like, yep. Yeah, that was yep. the next um, step that I took. And they, they, he does all of these like now uh, free courses every once in a while on YouTube, on like YouTube Live or whatever. Um, so if you ever wanted to grab one of those, subscribe and then uh, attend when he has my stuff. Yeah, I totally recommend his web design professional course. That one just like opened up my eyes to web design. So, <laughs> and also his Webflow course is good too, but. I would highly recommend the web design one. Yeah, I just signed up for his uh, six-figure freelancer one, so we'll, I'll let you guys know. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> I think our live on YouTube is working, but Ooh, awesome. Maybe yes or no? Who knows? <laughs> 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 We're there somewhere <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> It is working. I'm I'm watching it. <laughs> oh yay. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi YouTube and everyone yes. that we've been yeah. mentioning. Wait. Such good words for all. I liked it. You have to like it. <laughs> like and subscribe. They give some vlogs of support. <laughs> so now we're going from YouTube channels to tools. So we'll see in which if there's anything new for you to learn. Or if you already like know all this stuff and your hot stuff. Ooh. This one might be a little tough. This is I, I love this tool. I use it all the time. And it's actually uh right here in my in my bar. There you go. Yeah, so Loom is wonderful. Like if you're working with a client. Um, or if you're like, I can't explain this by typing it out. This sucks. I wish I could just show them my screen. It's just recording your screen and then sending them a link so you can talk through everything. It can even record your face as you're talking so that it's more personable. And um, they have free plans and they have paid plans too. And it's it's wonderful. So if you haven't ever used Loom, highly recommend it. Whoever picked Plume is a great name, and we should definitely develop that as well. <laughs> I just wanted to add in to right now I'm taking a boot camp with Memorizely, and they use this tool so much in explaining, like, articulating design decisions and just, like, in Notion. They just keep telling us about this tool. So, yeah, I totally recommend it, too. Yeah, yeah. Try it out. The free plan and everything like that. I think the free plan I think the limit is like five minutes, and I feel like you can explain most quick things in five minutes. Yeah, for sure. I love it. Yeah. Also, also, also five minutes are also five minutes are enough for usability testing or something if you want to have like a quick test for a feature or something like it's pretty amazing i'm always using it with my, my with my clients especially if i need to explain something critique with the developers team or like more technical people it helps me a lot you know and i'm still using the free uh plan so so yeah it is worth it to try yeah I would uh, test it out. It's right here, but I'm so worried about messing this up. <laughs> but yeah, you can add it to your, your Chrome uh, uh, plugins, and it's it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Ooh. 
Mm-mm, right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Mm-mm. Yeah, so this is a integration. This is part of the Holy Trinity, I guess. The I Holy can't even copy. Mm-hmm. I want to copy from Penny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look at people's fingers. I can't see any. <laughs> okay. oh. so, this is Zapier. Zapier is amazing. So, like, there's all of these different things, like member stack, which is like how you can pe- get people to sign up for your site, how you can manage them, and all that kind of stuff. There's Airtable, where it's kind of like Excel, where you can like gather all this information from a uh, a survey. But like, how do you connect them to Webflow? How do you connect them to all of these things? And if you want to learn about this, you could go to Connor or Aaron's channels to kind of see how it is. But um, that's what I use to like automate the emails when people sign up for my site, connect everything. Like Zapier is just the glue that sticks everything together. <laughs> so uh, it's it's really. Is there anybody here that uses Zapier for? some of their sites or anything like that. Yeah, I do Penny, little, that's why you yeah. went into the podium now. <laughs> oh, am I in the podium now? <laughs> yeah, you kicked me out. It's the whole Oh, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's war. It's <laughs> war, okay? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know it, so. <laughs> so, so Penny, is it Zapier? Sorry? Did you say that, uh, I, I said, did they use Zapier? And everybody was like, Penny, Penny. <laughs> I've I've used it a bit, yeah, not not a ton, but I have for sure. Yeah, would you would you recommend it to people? It's it's a good starting point. There are you know it's and it, and, it, and it's certainly enough for for a lot of things. Um, it connects so many different systems together that you know it it kind of it's like if you you know it's like you don't need to know how to you know write code or do scripts or anything like that. It'll look after that for you. Then there are other ones that um, can take it a, a little step further, or do different, do things, similar things, but in a different way. So, uh, but it's a great place to start. For yeah. Sure. Well, also, um, uh, I know Parabola is something that people go to after using Zapier. It's a good alternative. Yeah. Parabola. Except they did, they put their prices up a lot last year, I think. So, yeah, it's uh, Integra Matter or its new name are i don't because i don't know what your questions are so i'm trying to be careful not to (laughs) throw something out there (laughs) all right uh stephanie just joined us so stephanie no worries about being late um if you want to play with us just go on to kahoot um you can access on your mobile phone if you like oh Um, yeah where is the link Um, yeah uh, www.kahoot.it on your phone, and then you put in this pin right here in okay. the box right here in corner. Pin, like, uh, I'll post it in the chat. Okay. Uh, oh, the pin. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. No, no worries. Problem. I'll give you a couple seconds to put in your name. Kathleen so you is making a comeback one. with three in a row. Go on, Kathleen. <laughs> Ready. Great, let's go to the next one. All right. So what do you think this is? It has to do with user accounts and profiles, accepting payments with members, signing up, checking out. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> Good job. So member stack. Uh, this is something that I was introduced to um, by Connor. And it's a great way for, uh, let's say you have a site, but um, you want to limit certain parts of the site to be visible by certain types of members. Um, not and, and you want certain information on your site to disappear when a member signs in. And also, how does a member sign in? How does all of that work? Member stack takes care of all of that. And there's so many videos that you can watch online about it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. And it was insane when um, the founder, co-founder of member stack used member stack to sign up for my site. 
And I was like, what? <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's it's really, really cool. I don't know if anybody's uh used it before or anything like that that you can, like share about if you if you like it or not. But uh yeah, this is a really good uh tool to use uh, in my opinion, from my experience. I'm so scared of integrations. I haven't tried any of them yet. But They're they all look amazing <laughs> and useful. <laughs> Yeah, I was really scared of them too until uh, I got a lot of a lot of help from Connor and his videos and everything, and it made it a lot less scary. Mm -hmm. So my my goal is to make this uh, less intimidating because if I can do it, I feel like other people can do it. <laughs> hey, Emily, for this for this one, do you, do you have any clients that like are in e commerce? Mm -hmm. So. I l learned all of these tools by making my own uh, site called Podwork. Um, oh, okay, got it. Okay, but uh, yeah, I I uh, I don't know. Yeah, it has a checkout and everything like that. But there, you're, there's definitely the thought of like, do I go member stack or do I go Shopify? If it's got easier. it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Ooh, stay, staying where you are. Mira <laughs> <laughs> loves a competition. <laughs> that Hopefully is this. a beautiful logo. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, <laughs> Airtable. So I know that um, uh, like when I signed up for stuff for the Webflow Open House and everything, they were using Airtable. I use uh, Airtable um, for my own stuff. It's super, it's just so much smarter to collect information and populate stuff into like Webflow CMS. So if you want to learn about it and it, maybe it seems intimidating right now, um, just check it out online. It's it's going to be way less scary than you probably think it is. Does anybody uh, uh, have experience with their table that they they enjoyed? Yes, I do. Like uh, I tried it for automating uh, Twitter. Uh, like I'm, I'm, if I want to like get back to Twitter, I'm using Airtable for automating that. Also, like their forms and everything. So I think I'm still using it in like a superficial base. And I think to get deeper over there because I'm aware of how much like uh, potential over there, but I didn't get the time yet to do it. So yeah. <laughs> I think that it's so cool. And I actually even, um, I keep track of my, uh, my write-offs, my like my, my tax write-offs, what I spend in Airtable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because I'm like, when did I buy this? How much is it? All that kind of stuff. Uh, it, uh, the states I had like purchased versus uh, planning. But yeah, there's so many ways to use it. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to try it out for finances too. I never thought about that. So I'll give it a try maybe. Because I was just planning to start a Notion table for that. But I think if Airtable is a better option, I'm, go I'm down for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have a question it's like Notion and Airtable like why the same right or what's the difference between I don't know because I'm I'm into Notion now yeah like me too for, for everything I think that Airtable I of course I hear about that but I don't know um the difference between the two platforms. I think it's yeah, a great question because we got so many tools um, about, you know, we always hear about integrations and all these amazing tools. And it's true, like you get such a big list and uh, yeah, it, it, it'd be great maybe to have a whole event on differences between one and the other and what they're useful for. Yeah. So from at least my experience, you can add on after, after me, but um, uh, Airtable, I guess the, to compare it to like the most basic things that we probably had growing up is uh, Notion is a little bit more like like a Word doc where you can like add in all of these extra stuff to it, but essentially it starts out as a Word doc. Um, Airtable to me is a lot more like an Excel um, and you obviously can go a million different places from it, but it starts out as an Excel. And I think the basic thing with Airtable is 
taking all of these surveys or taking all of these different ways to collect information and then organize it all in one place. So I think that's the best uh, description between these two. But obviously, YouTube will explain it a hundred times better than I can. <laughs> no way, Emily. That was like such a bang on explanation. <laughs> that was priceless. That's exactly how I, I'm like nodding, like jumping out of my chair the whole time. Like, yes, yes. Because <laughs> I went from Airtable trying to go back to Notion. I was like, this is just a document. What? <laughs> Whereas Airtable, you can export views that you can share with people and then you can get like your research in a, like I've been using it for user research right now and like you can just get all that stuff that just seems like numbers you can get it in a really visual way which is is cool so I'm also with you we am I'm using it very superficially right now but I think Airtable just has like a lot more power behind it it seems like yeah, the Excel. Thank you, Emily. That was so good. <laughs> oh my God, Hillary, what you said about visuals, I'm like, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, that's my, that's my love language. So, yes. <laughs> Ooh, very competitive. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's not even inter uh, interacting. She's not even talking. She's so focused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, next category is like helpful resources and websites that I have seen um, and I've personally liked. So I wanted to share them here. And maybe you've seen them before, so then maybe you can get a point if you've seen it before. Mm, I've never seen this one. <laughs> I like to start out with an easy, easier one. <laughs> you think. Yeah. Please don't, a, please don't fix it. was a false. <laughs> Gotcha. I was thinking somebody was going to pick green just for the meme. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you're if you're here more for UX than Webflow, this place is uh, Webflow University, which is where so much of us have spent so much of our time uh, at kitchen tables, just going through all of these um, videos. So uh, this is a wonderful place. And I just noticed that it's right here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah. Hopefully that's some some good points for you. If you're winning this quiz, you'll get a beautiful um, list with all these resources, <laughs> <laughs> handwritten especially for you. <laughs> oh 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 oh. I'm calling it experience. My dog is linking my legs. <laughs> ah, so this one was tricky. Yeah, so this one, if you want to pop it into your browser, uh, showcase.webflow.io. And I think the member stack guys have something to do with this. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful place to find all of these clonables. Um, so let's say you want to look for memberships or you want to look for a form or even wizardry, like, which is, um, uh, Timothy Rick stuff, like all of this kind of stuff, client first, fin suite, like all of these things. Um, and it, it grows over time and you can find even just a section. So this is kind of like a, like a free reloom kind of. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Obviously, you could always go get a reloom and then things are a little bit easier to find. You don't have to go searching for it. But if you're not at that point yet to invest in that, this is also a great alternative. Well, and, and the other thing is that the Webflow showcase itself is is so unfriendly. It's so difficult to find mm. anything because you can't search on it properly. You have to kind of know what you're searching for, you know. Yeah, Where this gives you, it makes it much easier to find, the, you know, like, oh, oh yeah, I want to know about this. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. so even like the things yeah. you favored before, it's like, where are the things I favored? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, and also, um, just to add this, because this is probably like a good thing if, if somebody's earlier on in their career, um, they have a whole section of portfolios. So if about redoing your portfolio or you're like hey like i'm looking for bits and pieces to create my own unique portfolio 
from other things that I find online. Um, highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Showcase.webflow.io. Cool. I'll write it down just in case I don't win. <laughs> <laughs> I can make this available for people. <laughs> All right, we're about halfway there. Okay. Halfway, halfway through the thing? Yeah, th through the whole quiz. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to leave. I have a meeting at 1.30. <laughs> you quit? <laughs> because they kicked you out of the podium? <laughs> uh, I have no idea. <laughs> this is a, yeah, this is a shameless plug. Um, this is <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, uh, my, my site where I learned how to use all these integrations was uh, I have a podcast and I love when no code and Webflow people and UX people talk on podcasts. So I'm like, hey, I can't have every person in the world on my podcast. So it wouldn't be great if we could have a place where there's a whole list of guests who do this kind of stuff and a whole list of podcasts who want those people. So if you would like, you could make a free profile on this and it's a uh, podcast.io. And uh cool. I can approve your profile and then you can come on the site. So I highly recommend. Yeah. <laughs> Emily's personal I, recommendation. I, I don't, I have a question about that. I was looking sure. at your, uh, well, the website that you like, create. Yeah. Uh, and as I told you, like, I'm creating like a podcast with my husband. And, oh. But I don't know, I was looking at, so I don't know. Like, like I just sign up or, or yeah. So uh, it's uh, www.podwork.io, mm -hmm. and then you go to uh, create a profile. Okay. And then you can choose either a podcast or guest. Okay. Um, and so if you think you're in the podcast category, you go there. Uh -huh. And uh, it will load at some point. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, and you just get started from there and then just follow the instructions and then I'll approve it probably within 24 hours. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. It's really okay. nicely designed, Emily. It's so amazing, Emily. I love it. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Right now. 27 out of 49. This might be an American thing, so I apologize. <laughs> mm. Yeah, Eventbrite. Uh, Eventbrite, you probably already know about it, but uh, this is how I first, when I was first getting to UX, I was like, okay, so it's COVID. I can't go out and do stuff. Like, what do I do? How do I learn more? And so all of these events were going on and you can find free events that are online and you can just kind of like sit in and all of these people from big companies like uh, Spotify or all these things will be just in these Zoom calls and talking to you about UX. So mm -hmm. can we sign nice up and advertise our events? Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Um, uh, Eventbrite is a good one. Um, I'll, I have another one, but I'm not sure if it's a question. I will share it with you. <laughs> I'm clearly one of the two people that didn't right <laughs> yeah event right is is wonderful and i think it's it's free for you to promote your events someone's mm -hmm. laughing hillary's laughing at the coconut <laughs> <laughs> oh so uh this isn't what the podcast is it's like how you make podcasts <laughs> Is is there a is there a way like to eventually pause the game? Just I'm thinking like if Penny has to go and usually we like we we finish um after an hour, mm -hmm. just just thinking. Is sure, there... yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could we could pause, I could stop sharing for a second, you could do your wrap-ups if you'd like. But is it possible to keep like maybe have a round two on a another day or oh sure sure we could um uh yeah we can arrange that because i know that it's getting a little bit late um and i can i can hmm. <laughs> i 
phrasing, but I'm just thinking like of the competitive people here. Would, would we keep our points? That's a big question. <laughs> I love my first spot a while back. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I think Emily is crashing, but I, you know, I'm talking on behalf of everyone here, but I think this was one of the most, um, I don't know, not exciting, but definitely one of the funniest events we've had at Fluxes. I had so much fun doing this quiz, and I think it's a great way to um, learning by doing as well, which is what I particularly love. Um, oh, Emily, are you here? Yeah, yeah. It just uh, it said that Gather lost connection. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Well, we lost you for a second. I was just saying, like, I was just thanking you so, so much because I th I think this was one of the funniest events we've had at Floxies. Like it was so great, and it's what I love doing is like learning by doing, and having this quiz was really interesting and helpful in that way. So thank you so much for setting it up. It was really really amazing, and I do hope that you um, you would like to come back for a second round. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. thanks. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, and I don't want to explain too do we much. keep our points? Just <laughs> <laughs> Who's the winner for today? Oh yeah, who sh I should uh at the moment the winner is uh Mirella. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Mirella. <laughs> <laughs> okay, top three, who is top three? <laughs> I'm number two, I think. Okay. Uh, do I get a prize? What's my prize? Uh I What's my prize for being the, the living wiki? Here. <laughs> of the scoreboard with uh, with Claudia and she'll share it. Yeah, there, there's a prize. I'll deliver it to you. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you so much, Emily. I really appreciate it. It was so fun and interactive. I'm going to tell like all my friends about Kahoot now. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. And, oh, is it is it possible to get like a list of all the resources you went through? Or were yeah, you in the top yeah, three? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can make that a photo. Uh, uh, Claudia can uh, put it in the, the Discord. That yeah. Way no worries, I'll share. I'll share. To the top three. <laughs> Please, yeah. can someone take a screenshot to Maria? <laughs> we will. <laughs> All right. But by the way, this, this was a great tool. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. And I was thinking that this is well, obviously we play the game here, but it can we can use it for many uh many other sessions, educational sessions or uh training or as a workshop, like and then you stop and you explain stuff and you make it like funny. I know that the quiz sometimes might be stressful for some <laughs> for some people, and um, but I think we we had a good pace here, and uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for this session. It was very different from all the others that we've had here. And this was not as much as to test your knowledge, but to give you a, like fill those gaps. Like for example, I didn't know many questions about integrations and all of those things, so it was just an opportunity to learn by um, having some fun. So definitely, thank you so much, Emily. Oh, yeah, thanks for having you guys. It was nice meeting. Yeah, thank you, Emily. Really well, we'll keep that. in touch for um, yeah. part two. Okay. <laughs> thank you so much, that Emily. Thank you, Thank Emily. you, Penny. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Anyone else who Bye, has girl. to go, thank you so much for being here today with us. <laughs> it was super I look forward fun. to the rematch. And you I'm look going, so, so I'm, 80s or 90s, Maria. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to you soon as well. You look amazing. Vintage. For me, it, it seems kind of 40s, I think. Uh, yeah. The pinups. You know? Pinups. Oh, yes. <laughs>